The remains of Homo floresiensis, often referred to as the Hobbits, were first discovered in Liangbua Cave on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2003. These individuals stood roughly one meter tall, leading to their popular nickname, Hobbits, derived from fictional characters. The skeletal remains, particularly the skull, displayed features that were more primitive than modern humans. Despite their small stature, the structure of their feet and legs suggested they were capable of long-distance walking. The brain of Homo floresiensis was about a third the size of modern human brains, yet they made sophisticated tools. Stone tools found alongside the remains suggest that they were skilled hunters and gatherers. The remains of animals, including dwarf elephants called Stegodon, were found alongside the hobbits, indicating they might have been on their menu. There's evidence to suggest that they lived on the island for at least a million years. Some researchers believe that they are descendants of a population of Homo erectus that arrived on Floras and underwent insular dwarfism. Insular dwarfism is a biological phenomenon where species shrink in size when their population's range is limited to a small environment, especially islands. The Liangbua cave also revealed evidence of fire, hinting that these harmonins knew how to use and control fire. Their discovery raised questions about human evolution, particularly in Southeast Asia. One of the most striking features of Homo floresiensis was their small cranial capacity, which was comparable to that of a chimpanzee. Yet, the complexity of the tools they made is at odds with their small brain size. It challenges the traditional understanding that brain size is directly related to intelligence and technological advancement. There's debate among scientists whether Homo floresiensis represents a new species or if they were modern humans with some form of growth disorder. Some propose that diseases like microcephaly or Down syndrome might explain their small brain and stature. However, the discovery of additional individuals with similar features weakens the disease hypothesis. The most complete hobbit skeleton found is of a female, nicknamed LB1, which has been extensively studied. The shape and structure of her wrists are more similar to those of African apes than modern humans. Evidence suggests that Homo floresiensis coexisted with modern humans for tens of thousands of years. There are local legends on floras about small, hairy people called Ebu Gogo, which some believe might be based on memories of Homo floresiensis. The last known remains of the hobbits date back to around 50,000 years ago. One theory for their extinction is competition with modern humans who arrived in the region around the same time. Another theory points to a massive volcanic eruption on the nearby island of Sumatra that might have caused a prolonged volcanic winter. The hobbits' small size might have been an advantage in dense jungles, allowing them to move swiftly and stealthily. Their teeth show evidence of a varied diet that included both meat and plants. Homo floresiensis had extremely long arms relative to their height, similar to the arms of Lucy, the famous Australopithecus afarensis. The discovery of the hobbits has prompted scientists to re-examine other small-sized skeletal remains found in Asia. There's a possibility that other islands in Southeast Asia might have hosted similar dwarfed human populations. Despite the numerous fossils discovered, the lineage and ancestry of Homo floresiensis remain uncertain. Some believe they might have descended from an early migration of a primitive Homo species out of Africa. The tools associated with Homo floresiensis are similar in sophistication to those made by Homo erectus. The environment of floras during their time would have included Komodo dragons and giant rats. It's believed that the isolation of floras played a significant role in the evolution and survival of this unique human species. Their discovery underscores the importance of Southeast Asia as a critical region in human evolution. The hobbits have expanded our understanding of the range of human diversity in the past. Ongoing research and excavations continue in the hopes of uncovering more about their mysterious history. The story of the Hobbits is a blend of scientific discovery, mystery, and wonder, capturing the imagination of people worldwide. While many questions about Homo floresiensis have been answered, many more remain, making them a continued focus of anthropological research. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.